So Andy, what's new in NAV Finance in 2018? Okay George, there's a couple of things that uh, I'd like to show you today. The first is the dynamic show of accounts. Basically in some of the setups um, it's possible to have for example payment tolerances turned on or off and if depending on if they're turned on or off the relevant accounts are shown on some of the cards or not shown. So for example if we go to the customer posting groups and I view this one I can see here that the payment tolerance fields are not shown on the card they would normally be in this area here if I minimize that and then go to the general ledger setup and set a payment tolerance percentage of say 1% and a maximum payment tolerance of 0.1 units in this case this is GBP press OK I need to confirm that I'm happy with them um, changing the customers so going back into the customer posting groups if I now reopen that I can see that the payment tolerance fields are now shown on the card this helps with setting up um, the posting groups so that if the accounts are not used, therefore you don't need to put anything in there. One other nice feature, George, is the um, addition of references to the number of uh, usages of each of the combinations of the posting groups. So for example, on the customer posting groups, we've got two new fields. One is used in customers, in this case we can see that uh, we've got 11 customers using that group, 33 using this group and the number of relevant ledger entries that relate to those particular combinations. So for example we'll have 36 ledger entries in customer ledger entries for this, for this domestic group. If I open up the card I can see that those figures are also on the card. Now both in the list view and the card view. These are drill downs, so if I open, click on this number 11, it will open up and show me the 11 customers that make up that um, posting group usage. Similarly, if I go to the general posting setup, the combination of general business posting group and general product posting groups I have a new column here called used in ledger entries so for example here I'll choose a number that's not too large number 27 this is a drill down it tells me that there will be 27 general ledger entries that are used for that combination of domestic and raw material again clicking on the link will take me to those general ledger entries so if my trial balance wasn't working one month, that might be one way of seeing perhaps posting errors that have gone to the wrong combination. Yes, so if we go back to the list for example, um, perhaps I wouldn't expect to see any ledger entries in these accounts here because the, um, well the, this one here for example, I wouldn't expect to see any in here if I'm not using that combination. But if there, were, uh, if there was an entry here, then it's easier to spot where the potential errors have occurred. The second thing I'd like to show you is the suggested accounts. Um, when you're setting up new combinations of, for example in here, the general posting setup, if I'm setting up a new combination of general business posting group and general product posting group, in previous versions of NAV it was necessary to actually go into the card itself so you'd edit the card and in here you would then fill in the appropriate pieces of information with the, uh, the nominal accounts that you're going to be using for each of these fields. It's made a little easier in 2018 in that if I have already got previous combinations for example here general posting group of uh, blank and 
manufacturing, I've already got accounts filled in. For example, this line here was a new one that I'd added in. I could then press the Suggest Accounts button and it will fill in what it thinks are the appropriate values based on other combinations. These may not be 100% as required, so you still have the ability to then edit these and just change the odd one that might be wrong in that field. And when you've made your changes, you can then press edit. It saves a little bit of time going to and fro, making notes of which accounts to use, etc. Okay, so one thing to bear in mind is that if you're not entirely sure as to how to go about setting up the posting groups or the effect of this, um, best have a chat with your consultant just to take some advice before you go down a path that could be incorrect for the business. Actually, George, there's uh, a third thing that I'd like to show you today, and that is where there is missing setup on, for example, here, on the general posting setup for this account it's actually missing. Now this could be through incomplete setup or a user has actually accidentally deleted the value for this particular field. In earlier versions of NAV if this sales account was missing you would be pretty far into the sales order or sales invoice process before you started to get errors and that would be when you were trying to for example post the invoice or the credit memo. In NAV 2018 the checks for missing accounts have been brought forward into the process at a much earlier stage of uh, creating the sales order and I'd like to show you that now. If I go through to a sales order and create a new one. The customer posting setup was for the uh, domestic and raw materials. Um, <coughs> I can actually set that for customer 10,000, the Canon Group. They're a domestic customer. And I have an item in this case 70100, some black paint. As soon as I put that combination of general business posting group of domestic and general product posting group of raw materials onto a sales order line, I immediately get an error message at the top saying that there is a missing account. In this case, the sales account is missing. Optionally, I have the ability here to click on this link and it will take me to that page and record to show me what is missing. Now depending on my permissions I could actually and if I had knowledge of which account should be filled in I could fill that in at this stage, go back to the sales order and then complete the, the line entry. For most users the person entering the sales order would not necessarily have the permissions or the knowledge to do this, so they would then have to take further advice, but that could be controlled through permissions. 